All right, day 55, lockdown movement control order. Tomorrow is going to be the last day of phase four of the MCO and probably going to be the last day of my daily vlogging. Um, I am thinking that maybe it is time that I reduce my vlogging from once a day to maybe once or twice a week. I think it's getting a little bit um, repetitious because I don't really do anything much during the MCO or the CMCO for that matter. But I think I can come up with better storyline, I, I can come up with a better uh, visuals if I reduce the number of vlogs that I do. And I'm thinking, I recognize that there are a lot of things that I've learned in making these 55 videos. Everything revolves around story. If there isn't an interesting story, nobody's going to be interested. Uh, so story needs uh, a structure. There's a beginning and there's an end. And there's all the parts in the middle that brings the beginning to the end. That's a classic story structure. And I noticed that I haven't got much story in my vlogs. Well, some of them do, but most of them don't. Most of them are simply a rundown of things that happen during the day. Uh, there has to be a journey, there has to be some drama, there has to be a reason why people would want to watch my videos. And then, there's also a lack of a visual for a passage of time. Uh, if you look at other vloggers, what they do, they show uh, a time lapse. Uh, they, they show uh, different scenes with, uh, that, that would separate one uh, event from another. Uh, so that's something that I need to start putting in. Uh, there's also a lack of context. Uh, I've noticed that in um, a lot of the vloggers out there, the successful storyteller vlogs, they, they always show a beginning scene that's used, uh, that's taken with a wide angle lens just to show the viewers what's happening and what is the context of the vlog. Obviously, I can't do that because I'm here at home all the time. But even with uh, all the, uh, the, the wide angle uh, establishing shot and the uh, story structure, the uh, beginning, middle and the showing the passage of time, at the end of the day, the story must be interesting for people to listen to or to hear in the case of YouTube. It's, it can't just be hey, you know, this is what I'm going to do and show what I'm going to do and and then that's it. It's got to be here, this is what I want to do. Here are the challenges that, that is going to involve, that's going to be in front of me if I want to get this done. And here's me trying to uh, overcome these challenges. And then there's a resolution whether I overcame the challenges or I, I succumbed to the challenges. And that makes a better storyline than what I've been doing for the last 55 days. But I looked at some of the things, the videos that I've done. The sheer quantity of the videos that I did uh, really forced me to, to start looking at things critically and really started me to get to thinking what else I can do. Uh, and uh, I am extremely excited at uh, being able to start coming up with more story-based vlogs and coming up with, um, with uh, and, 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 um, and really improving my abilities to tell a visual story. I notice that sometimes I do tend to um, say maybe a lot more things than I need to and my videos tends to get longer. Uh, I, I remember in one of the earlier vlogs, I think during the first week, I said that I wanted to keep it down to eight minutes. Uh, the first thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that the video is not too long. Um, 
uh, this is a comment that I've uh, gotten from several people uh, and I've been going on the uh, net to find out what is the optimal uh, length of a YouTube video there are some interesting statistics on average uh, the YouTube video is five minutes long most music videos are three minutes long uh, videos that focuses on things like makeup is between five to ten minutes long if you're familiar with TED talk their presentation format is between 10 to 18 minutes but the most important thing to know is that there is no optimum a length of a YouTube video uh, that because there is no real optimum figure I'm going to choose arbitrarily that uh, my videos cannot exceed eight minutes and I'm going to make sure that the rest of the videos that I upload for my 30 day uh, daily vlogging uh, project uh, now no it's not longer than eight minutes why eight minutes there's no other reason um, uh, other than that simply that seems like a nice uh, and then you know that lasted for a few videos and then I said what the heck I'm just gonna do whatever it is I want to do uh, but uh, now uh, thinking about putting in more structure putting in less words putting in more visuals and 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 combining that with a cool soundtrack I think maybe uh, maybe I can start working on developing and producing and posting vlogs that uh, will be more enjoyable for people to watch. Having said that, I don't count any of the videos that I've done during the MCO to be uh, even to be to be. Um, having said that, I don't count any of the videos I've done during the MCO period to be. Uh, always even if not many people watch it uh, because uh, first of all it is a document to what's been happening and uh, and I'm I am uh, getting YouTube to be a witness to what I went through uh, and I think it's it's an incredibly awesome way to just uh, be able to remember things many years in the future about this is what happened during this um, global event that all of us had to go through. So uh, tomorrow is going to be the last day of the MCO daily vlogs. That's it. Day 55, movement control order. See you later.